four one thousand, five one thousand. Well, you hear my count. That's for a reason. My very first video, DOA, and I'm set up at two uh, K seven, forty eight frames per second. Something that you cannot do with another camera. So let's go out. Try not to make this a long and extensive video, but. This is my first impressions without learning the camera. Just go on the go. But remember, I'm fully formatted on my card, fully charged battery. Gonna go enjoy the J. So see what you got from here. And if it's to your liking, show a comment, show a rate, and subscribe. Have a great day. Enjoy everybody. Kind of like a failure, not knowing what you're doing, if the camera's actually working or not. Gotta listen to the beeps, know what those beeps are through the instructions. I'm not on the actual boardwalk, but this gives you an ideal test until I get to the rough area. I am on the boardwalk. I need to get used to the uh, auto recording feature. I don't like the way the camera stops and doesn't shut off. I understand there is a feature to get that going. Rock steady. Well, if you watch my other videos of the GoPro Hero, you know this worked before. So I am on the board. windy. I had to get off the boardwalk because I have to pay respect to what was said. No bikes on there at this given time, but in the wee hours. Hey, this is not a Rolls Royce camera, but it is a DJI. That was a Bentley. Wonderful indeed. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Remember seeing his movies? One or two of them were filmed over here. Yes, indeed. Let's continue on. Back to where I'm headed. I did this before in my other video. It looks so real. Nice capture. So real. get down here to uh, Coney Island, head on over to Nathan's. A lot of music playing, so a lot of shortcuts and all that good stuff. Hot dogs, hamburgers, frog legs, you name it. Just be prepared to spend at least $10 for a hot dog, a small drink, and maybe french fries. So let's uh, Head on out, pick a spot, and give a talk. Well, you got something going on with cameras and YouTube and all that good stuff.
opening up the box, seeing the camera for the first time, very easy to take everything off, including the lens. The lens is not hard, it simply comes right off. No need for me to take it off any further. Peel the front, the back, and the lens sticker off. Charge your battery. Take a Samsung Evo Select Plus or a PNY Elite card, 64 gig, and go to your computer, fully charge it, and read some of the instructions, and that's exactly what I've done. When I went out today and I said I'm going on the go with the camera, that's actually what I've done. I had no idea what I was doing. As I was riding, I set my camera up, and the only problem I found, I couldn't find the field of view. I have it at 2K7 at 48 frames per second. That is my sweet spot of a camera. I love it. I had a problem with uh, like auto start. I know I hit the shutter button over here. I hit it to stop it. Everything came on. Everything stopped fine. But when I was on my bike and I had to stop the camera altogether to shut it off, I had to reach over to the opposite side and the camera shut down. So I have to learn the camera to get that actual feature to work. I know this has profiles and that is something I am interested in. This has a lot more than other cameras out there and this is more of a professional camera, I like to say. I like the idea of the front screen which I really didn't use today, I used it maybe once. And I like the idea, and it's just like my other camera, my Yi, a nice wide screen. Then a 4x3 aspect ratio screen. Not 4x3, but it's a lot smaller screen. You can see a lot more. It feels like a better camera. It is a better camera for me. I say that now, but down the road, you know, we kind of like both cameras. One camera does this and one camera does that. It doesn't have GPS. I don't care. I don't really use GPS. This crap's uh, image stabilization, I don't care. I'd rather have a little bit more crop than less image stabilization. And did a great job. Really impressed with the battery life that it went out. And I'm not even sure how many minutes I shot. And I maybe had a bar gone. It didn't say in percentage, or I didn't see it in percentage. And that's something that interested me. Uh, the battery life. Did the camera overheat? I didn't have it on <clears throat> a lot to feel the overheat. And I was on the bike a lot, and the boardwalk, and riding around. And I used time lapse, slow motion, and the video. So down the road, I'll get used to the camera and figure it out. And I am very impressed indeed. So if you're looking to get a camera, do some research. I could definitely recommend the DJI Osmo Action. All depends on what you want to use it for. And then the suggestion may point elsewhere. And there's nothing good, nothing bad about talking about a camera, if it's off topic or on topic. A lot of things we have today is our smartphone, and that does the job mighty fine. This was easy to set up, one little difficulty which was grayed out, and just had to touch the screen, and once I touched it, I went to the next. And once I made some connections, everything came on and off I went. I don't use an app a lot, and I'm uncertain if Bluetooth is on, and this uses Wi-Fi as well. I'm uncertain, and I will check that out. So on that note, please rate, comment, subscribe. You'll see many videos to come, and I hope to see you on the next video.
Have a great day and enjoy. Happy filming, everybody.